One of the most shocking things that I have uncovered while investigating the situation here in Armanis was a massive misinformation and hate campaign being run from this town. I am talking about a Facebook page and a website called Busting the Myth of White Genocide in South Africa. I will leave a link in the description so you can go check it out for yourself. But for those of you who do not know this page, it is a page on Facebook that does basically two things. Spread misinformation and false statistics on farm murders and also make fun of farm killings in a most insensitive and vile way possible. An example of a post like this was when they made fun of a farmer that was killed when he was bitten by a black mamba. The jokes as you can see here were terrible, distasteful and downright heartless. The other part of what this page is doing is running a campaign of propaganda spreading false information about specifically farm murders that is eaten up by the mainstream media. An example of this is the professor from the Northwest University, Almin Duplessis, that made a complete ass of herself when she used false statistics that she gathered from this page when she went on national TV. I even made a video about her doing just that. I'll leave a link in the description. Also this page is justifying slogans like land or death and trying to justify expropriation without compensation. I know this page has also harassed and threatened many people and I know a lot of people got scared of these threats but rest assured guys there's no threats at all. This page is just run by the same three useless women who were also involved in a Clifton slaughtering on the beach and inciting the horror and riots here in Armanis. So don't worry about these threats and harassment. They are quite empty. Now this page and its post has been extremely hurtful to many people so it's very important that you share this everywhere as far as possible. I even give permission to anyone to download and re-upload this video on your own platform. This page is owned and administrated by one Mandy Owens, one of the lackeys of Vanessa Swanepoel, the women who are behind and instigating most of the riots in Armanis. It was quite easy to see from the page source who the owner of the website is. And the owner is this Mandy Owens. The other two women involved in this page are one Lihandra de Silva and Vanessa Swanepoel. Lihandra de Silva is the one you can see on this picture with Mandy Owens. Mandy Owens is the one with the blonde hair and Lihandra is the one with all the piercings on her face. And of course then here is Vanessa Swanepoel, a face that might be very familiar to many of my viewers by now. Now this page is extremely hateful and involved in some of the most horrible incitings I have ever come across on the internet. They have even targeted me personally. One example of this is when they made a stupid video trying to mock myself and Aaron's roots and others. And a comment on this was by a certain Barbara Elson. Willem just did unbelievable damage here in my hometown of Hermanus by uncovering what we are doing here. All we want to do is create a fully integrated Hermanus where white people don't live in mansion while the rest of us live at squatters. We want everyone to live together, go to school together and share <laughs> in the wealth of the town. Then we get white races like Willem Petzer destroying the progress we made. Looking at the spelling and grammar of this woman, I am pretty sure this is a fake profile of one of the low IQ rioters here in Hermanus. But wait. There's more and this is more important. Then Mandy Owens replied, he was probably staying at his parents' holiday house and had time for his amateur vlogging RP. To which Barbara Olsen replied, we already started expropriating land here in Skullpook for the people. Once we get to the mansions in Fuel Club, his parents' place will be the first one we take. We know where it is. And then if you go look at the reactions on this, the busting the myth of white genocide page, which is Mandy Owens replied with a laughing face. So basically what she is saying that she is pro the stealing and unlawful occupation of other people's property. But of course these type of posts and the ones where they make fun of farmers for being killed by snakes are actually good because they prove to us what an extremely hateful page this is and the misinformation campaign being run by this page is not as effective. But for some reason, the mainstream media uses statistics that they gather from this page. One such blatant and deliberate form of misinformation they spread is on the number of farmers, making it seem like the per capita murder rate for farmers is much lower than it actually is.
They use statistics from 2007 and pretend like this is the statistics from today, even though those of us who are very involved in the farming industry know that the number of farmers have rapidly decreased since 1990 from 120,000 farmers to just over 30,000 farmers today. The number today may even be lower than 30,000 at the rapidly declining rate of farmers. Then they use these information that are more than a decade old in order to mislead people into believing that farm murders are not so bad as everyone is trying to make it out be. Well, this is very easily explainable if you look into the people who run this page. Mandy Owens, the owner of the site, for example, has the Land Party logo on her Facebook profile. Now, the Land Party is a party started by Kobani Nzongana, the man who was a co-founder of the EFF but later left the EFF because he said they were not radical enough. Kobani is also the character famous for saying on Facebook that he wants to drive all white people into the sea. He has also recently become a quote-unquote general in Black First, Land First. That is the party of Andile Mzitama, the man famous for saying that he wants to kill all white people, including their women and their children, and even their pets, their cats and their dogs. Seeing this is the parties that these women associate with, it is not at all surprising to see what hatred they spew on Facebook. These women were also very involved with the terrible sheep slaughter on Clifton Beach, in which the sheep was dragged by his ears into the ocean, symbolizing, as they said on the beach, how they want to drive white people into the sea, then dragged by its ears back onto the beach, slaughtered in the most horrific way possible, and then let its blood spray all over the sand. Now, I was there and took footage of the slaughtering, where they cut the sheep's neck open from the top side. Now, if you want to slaughter a sheep by cutting its neck, you have to start at the bottom to inflict the least possible pain to the sheep. Of course, this is completely illegal in modern circumstances where the sheep first needs to be stunned to death before it can be decapitated. But these people purposefully cut the head of the sheep from the top side in order to inflict some pain on it. And as they were doing this, we saw these administrators of this busting the myth page Vanessa Swanepoel and Mandy Owens dancing on the beach with them. This is also the incident where one of the people there was wearing a shirt that said kill all white people and then underneath people it said supremacy. Now this was also one of the terrible misinformation that came from this busting the myth page on Facebook where they wrote a whole article on saying how this t-shirt was misunderstood by the public, laughable really, to anyone with an IQ above 67. But the absolute hatred and misinformation being spread from this page is quite terrible and needs to be put out there. And the people behind this page is specifically Mandy Owens, Leandra da Silva and Vanessa Swanepoel needs to be held accountable for the absolute hatred that they spew and the deliberate misinformation that they put out there to the public. So please guys, this video is extremely important for you to share everywhere. Remember to leave a comment and a like to get the ratings on this video up so that YouTube's algorithms can push it more. Thank you very much and goodbye and God bless every one of you.